Right, welcome. Um, Hi. Uh, We've moved on from Bodrum. We have. We're um, moving south. To where? Bosborough, I think. Yes, we uh, end up in Bosborough in, the, in this video. Uh, first of all, we uh, do our first line of shore anchoring. Uh, yes. Um, Tie back, I mean. Turkey's coastline is um, quite uh, hilly and steep, lots of quiet gorges. Not quite fjords, but it's very, very deep in the centre, so potentially, you know, um, 60, 70 metres, uh, 40 metres from shore. So what you try and do is drop your anchor in the very deep water, like the Turkish gullets and the other boats, and reverse uh, up towards the uh, rock, and then take two lines ashore. And I think this is the first time we do it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Which wasn't too bad. Later on you'll see a second one where we think we probably need to revise our technique and put the um, lines, lines wider apart, wider apart at further angle in yeah. case we get some winds but we've done it now two or three times and, and we're getting better and it's working all right yeah, yeah. E much easier with a buddy boat with impavidus uh, ant and sid because one of us could jump in the dinghy and put the uh, straps ashore mm -hmm. and then the other one the other one motors around till we're ready and then we run the lines ashore and then help each other out so it's great it's much better oh we also go down to nidos as oh yes, well, which was like boat soup trying it, to get in it there. It was a small little harbour, but um, reputedly settled 13th century BC. Yeah. Um, and huge archaeological site. We didn't stay there for more than 24 hours, I don't think. Did no, we, we didn't. It was, there was, it's the logical stop-off place as you head south. So, but next year, we've um, when we uh, are coming back up, then we will try and explore the uh, archaeological rooms, amphitheatres. Yeah. Was it something yeah, it's famous Afro for a lot of amphitheatres. Am Aphrodite either lived there or did there something there. There was a statue, there. I think, or something. A statue there. Know, but it's still there. Uh, they have done a lot of renovations, and uh, not renovations, excavations. Uh, so it's a fascinating place to go and see, but we'll do that next year on the way back. And we had my birthday in Dacta. Yes, we went out and had that delicious steak meal. We did, and then we had Ant's birthday in Bosbrun. And oh, we yes, had an English Osmond, breakfast. At Osmond's. Yes. We didn't get any photos of your birthday, but I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but we had a delicious... All the breakfast. Um, all the breakfast, but we had a delicious um, uh, steak and salad meal for your birthday and then had cake for Aunt's birthday after yeah. the full English, didn't we? So then, where, then where do we go? Hope you enjoy. Yeah? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Great. Enjoy, everyone. <laughs> Here we are, David, Turkey, and our first live ashore anchoring. Absolutely, we didn't do too badly, I don't think. You went in the dinghy, didn't you? Yeah, dropped the anchor, we dumped 60 metres of chain fairly quickly while Caroline reversed the boat. I'd already been ashore and wrapped a strop round uh, a secure base over there, and then jumped in the dinghy and took the red line out, and then we just tightened up either end. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Had a lovely, peaceful, quiet night last night. Nidos is on the Dacta Peninsula. There have been pottery fragments found from the Mycenaean period, which was 14 to 13 BC. We were going to go and have a look around, um, but there was a big queue, as you can see, uh, waiting to get in. So instead, uh, we walked up the hill and had a look from the top of the hill and had a look at the anchorage, which we had a beautiful view of. Uh, they're now trying to rebuild, recreate some of the buildings using a mixture of new and uh, excavated parts. Just arrived at Dacha for my birthday. Uh, we arrived, we got up at 6.30 this morning uh, to beat the winds and get here, which we have done, which we got here at half past 10, it's now half past 11, and uh, this morning's entertainment is windsurfing school, uh, which should be quite interesting as the wind should be getting up soon.
look at this beautiful gullet that uh, anchored next to us. These photos are from the walk that we did up the hill. Uh, fantastic views. Good morning. Uh, we're in this um, very nice bay here. Uh, we're just seven miles short of Bosbrun. A lot of uh, gullets and everybody all tied back. Um, let me just step over there. You can see all the boats tied back there. And uh, the morning uh, delivery is here. There's a guy here which we think in the small boat there. He seems to be selling fishes. Um, uh, but we can't quite make it out because he's speaking in Turkish. There is at the end of the bay here a little restaurant you can't see because they can see all the masts and the gullets and everybody. But down that far end of the bay there is a little restaurant with a, um, a boat that supplies provisions to the yachts. Um, uh, a few vegetables and uh, fresh fruit and vegetables and we hope bread. But um, the man on the gullet has stopped him, so now he's going to buy uh, food for his guests on the gullet uh, for lunch. Uh, Ant and Sid are there, we're well protected here, and uh, Caroline's uh, just having trying a look. Trying to see what he's selling. Trying to see what he's selling, yeah, we can't speak, we can't speak Turkish, can we? <laughs> and then we've got two lines ashore today, uh, the new floating line that we bought on the reel um, is the red one and then we've cobbled together another stern line out of three old halyards not the best solution but they're tied back to the rocks as you can see so we're not going anywhere seems the boat doesn't sell the bread you have to go up to the restaurant for it so while we bought the bread we stopped and had a beer Look at how clear that water is and uh, all the little fishes that are swimming around. The wind got up and we had a bit of a thunderstorm. Uh, no rain at all, but a uh, thunderstorm all around us. We're in this lovely little anchorage at Bosbrun. Uh, there's at least a dozen goats across here that we've seen, uh, which we've enjoyed watching. Uh, there's a man comes and feeds them at night time and in the morning. I'll just show you the rest of the way around. There's a few other boats here. There again, we've been here a couple of days, uh, waiting through some more winds but it should be getting towards the end of the Meltemi season now. Across there is the main town. We went in and had a full English breakfast there, which was absolutely delicious. So nice that we went back again the next day for another one, and we'll go back next year for another.